when you're coming in with a high up B, you want to up smash. When you up smash, you will um, be able to scoop them, and your arms are intangible, so you will not trade as long as you time it correctly. Not the best edge trap. Game for thought able to get on, swinging with the back air. Not the best timing there on that one. Able to make it back safely though. Good dash attack. Not gonna get the kill just yet. It's not the strongest move, but it is a solid kill move. And soon we're past 100%. You can get like weak nair tech chases into dash attack. I don't think Game for Thought has jump, and that's gonna cost him his stock. Up throw will not take it just yet. Not the best DI. He did not DI that out, but he will just barely survive. Nice lariat, fully intangible on start right here. Yeah. Like I'm talking about, you want to be on the bottom so you can go for the dash deck, but it doesn't matter. Game for Thought is able to take that stock with a forward smash. Forward air coming in, able to get the forward tilt follow up. Now, neutral air into grab at 0% is a true combo, four and zero. Ooh, I think he was holding forward and buffered the forward throw, which was also buffed in terms of knockback, but it's still a strong throw. I think it does like 18 or 19. Side B coming in, that move was also buffed to just do more and more damage. Both will make it back. Oh, the down smash. I had never seen that trade before. Where trades with the back air. Nice Lariat using that intangibility on the arms and body to get him off. Forward smash gets the sour spot, but it's enough. And Murr takes the set. Two close games in the Incineroar deal. And Murr will take that set right there. Good stuff to him right there for, for doing that.